I'm Haley Joanna of HJA MFX, and this is my take if the Charlie Charlie game went completely wrong. I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching. So we're going to start out with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and rub that all over your eyes. This will help the color stay on longer and stand out when we do the red for the blood later on. Next, we're going to take the Ben Nye Cream in Ultralight and use that to highlight under our eyes and our brow bones. This will make the eyes appear puffy and also get rid of your eyebrows if they're a little bit darker. So what we're going to use is the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel in these colors to create bruises and abrasions. What I'm going to start out with is the dark purple color and more in a splotchy motion create little itty bitty bruises. Bruises are more spread out than one bold color. I'm coloring in the top of my eyelids to make them look like my eyes are sunken because ultimately we want it to look like Charlie has gone crazy and killed us. So what I'm doing is taking my sponge and my brush to make my eyes look a little bit more sunken in and to blend out these bruises because you don't want big giant purple circles on your face. I'm also going to take a little bit more of the dark purple and light purple and add a few more bruises onto my face because ultimately we want to look like we've had the crap kicked out of us. So we're going to take the ultralight and that light purple from earlier, pucker up our lips and just dab a little bit of it all over. The puckering will make your lips look cracked and chapped. Next we're going to take a stipple sponge, dip it in some of that red Ben Nye and make scratches all over our face. Also if you dab it on your cheeks just a little bit, it'll look like you have broken capillaries which will add to the effect. Here I'm scratching up the top of my face, below my eyes, and other parts of my face. So next we're going to take the Cinema Secrets Flesh Liquid Latex, pour it in a small container. I chose something that had my sponge in it. You can use a CC cup if you'd like. And now I'm going to take the back of my brush and draw the Charlie Charlie board on my face. Normally the board is a cross down the middle of a piece of paper, I decided to do an X around my eye. If you're going to do this, just be careful for the little hairs that are on your face. It will not feel too great once you remove it, so make sure you also have a decent remover. And also watch the fumes around your eyes. It doesn't feel too pleasant. Next I'm going to take the Ben Nye Nose Putty and just add a few extra cuts onto my face uh, while the latex dries. Sometimes I tend to go overboard with these cuts, but you know, the more cuts the better. Here I'm just trying to make a little bit bigger wound than what the latex will provide me on my nose. Just lather that on and then put little holes in it with your spatula. If you are using a metal spatula, please be careful. I don't want you to cut your face in the process of this. We just want fake injuries. So after all that latex is dried, we're going to take our spatula and pull up the edges just a little bit, not completely, so we can later put some of the Ben Nye cream under here to make the cuts. Please be careful if you're using a metal spatula, you don't want to end up with real cuts in the side of your head. And this is where we should be so far. Not doesn't look like much, but this is what we got. So we're going to take a thin brush and dip it into the lipstick palette, which I have. You can use any type of red paint if you'd like. 
And we're going to take that dark red color and fill in all the holes and scrapes we created in our liquid latex that has already dried. This will make the cuts appear a lot deeper. And we're going to continue that line down the eyelid. Remember earlier when I put that putty on my nose? I decided I needed another hole. But then we're going to take some more of that red, fill in the holes, make the cuts look deeper. And you might want to put a little bit near your nostrils, just so it makes them look a little bloodier. And just blend out some of the red with your finger. And now it's time for more latex! Because in the game Charlie Charlie, you have to write yes and no on pieces of paper. That's what we're going to do here. The hardest part about this, though, was I had to write it backwards, being as the camera flips it. So we're just going to write no and no on the tops and bottom of the quadrants, and then yes and yes in the other two. Again, when putting latex near your eye or mouth, please be careful. The fumes, they're not too terrible, but it, it will make your eye watery. So because I had to write backwards, writing an E, I had to think about it for a moment. And while being careful after the latex dries, go ahead and scrape it up like we did the other cuts. I, on the other hand, was not being careful, pressed a little too hard, and ended up with a slight scratch in my forehead. We don't want your forehead actually saying no after this makeup, so please be careful. Also, if you didn't know that you had little hairs around your mouth, you will know now if you decide to put latex around it. This um, is, latex will bond to every little hair that you have, so again, I'm going to say this multiple times, please be careful. And now, just like last time, we're going to fill in the little holes that we just scratched so we can make the cuts appear deeper.
after this in, we go ahead and fill in the cuts around the mouth. Not actually getting any on the corner of the mouth because it would probably smear, but we are going to put some on the lips. And fill in this yes over here. On some of these letters I'm kind of extending the letter itself because I'll go in and blend it out and it'll look more realistic. And I'm putting paint under some of this latex pocket, which makes it look like a hole has been cut into my face. See? Creepy pocket. I know how to spell yes and no. And earlier I didn't put latex for the S over here because I realized I started getting it closer to my eye, so it's okay. You can just paint on the S. And see, don't we look so pretty now? Much better than earlier. So I'm using my lipstick palette, but you can use whatever bright red you would like and go back over where we put the dark red so it'll appear slightly bloody. Now this won't be our actual blood, later we're going to use a fake blood and go over this again. But for now, we're going to brighten up this cut and make it look realistic. And if it gets too intense, smudge it out with your fingers, blend the edges. If you blend it too much, you can always go back and add more. And this is what I was talking about earlier, by extending the cuts, looking like it's scraped up further than what the actual cut is. There's that bloody pocket again. So I'm taking part of that Bin Nye wheel we had earlier, the bruise wheel, and just taking some yellow and putting it at the high points of my bruises. This will look like some of the bruises have healed a little bit or just make it pretty gross. If you're trying to make something gross, just add yellow or green. So now for the fun part of attaching the pencil to look like it went through your skull. I used Ben Nye's nose putty and then later some latex to attach this. I found it a little bit complicated and if you plan on wearing this out, it be, might be best to use silicone or third degree. If you do decide to go the route I did, please be careful putting this stuff near your eye. If you do use the putty, make sure you also blend out the edges so it is flush with your face. See here I ended up using latex just to make sure I hold, held that down. And then we wait for things to dry. While I was waiting for things to dry, I decided to add a little bit more yellow to my eyelid and some reds. I tend to get bored and just add colors to my face. And now to take the pointy part of the pencil and add that to the 
upper part of my face. This I found the hardest one to stay attached, so again, going back, I would recommend using silicone. And we're gonna use blood now. So I shook it up a little bit and because I had nothing else to pour it in, I just poured it in the cap. And with a fine tip brush, I went over where we made our cuts and just added a little bit. And we're gonna go over the X across our face and all of the yeses and noes. You don't need too much blood, but if in some parts, if you'd like to maybe be a little bit more generous to where it'll drip, go for it. It's your face. This blood also tastes like cherry, so putting it next to my mouth really wasn't a bad idea. Here's that pocket again. Isn't it gross? Oh, I had to adjust. Yep, and my pencil started falling off. Here I thought that maybe I could cover up the edge with my hair since it was falling down. But no. Who am I playing? So, back to adding blood. If you take that dark burgundy and put it around your eye and the wound, it'll make the wound appear deeper and people will not pay attention to that edge too much. more blood. Now with these parts where the pencils are, since I'm trying to cover up edges, but if you want to, you can just add as much blood as you want. The only thing I wouldn't recommend is dumping the whole bottle on your head. Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna be able to hide it with my hair. So I just took the blood and put it up in my hair. And 
just go ahead and touch up anything that might have dried. Some of these fake bloods do tend to dry. And now we're done. Now you can go out and film a scary movie, scare your friends, anything. Just as long as you have fun. Thanks for watching. Just.